Hello! Welcome back to Module 10 of Setting Up Your Journal with OJS 3.0. This is Unit 4 of Distribution Settings, Permissions. In this section, we'll configure settings around copyright and licensing of materials submitted to and published by your journal. To access permissions, log into your dashboard through the top right corner of your journal homepage. Hover over Settings in the left navigation and select Distribution. Permissions is the fourth tab in the new frame. The first section of the page is a rich text editor for your copyright notice. The copyright notice is meant to inform regarding the underlying claim to copyright ownership in a published work. In other words, use this section to inform those interacting with your journal about who owns the copyright to materials published in your journal. If you require authors agree to the copyright notice as part of the submissions process, tick this box. OJS will automatically generate copyright notices on each item published in your journal, and the following two items configure that setting. Firstly, Indicate whether copyright year is based on the issue publication or the article publication date. Secondly, indicate who the copyright holder of the materials will be. Licensing differs from copyright because it defines how material can be used rather than who has legal ownership of the materials. Using the drop-down menu, indicate what type of usage license should be applied to the materials in your journal. The drop-down menu is pre-populated with the different types of Creative Commons licenses, but if you are using a different license, select Other and provide a URL to the license if one is available. Finally, copyright and licensing information is permanently attached to your published content. If, for some reason, you need to reset the stored permissions to update information, you can use the Reset Article Permissions button at the bottom of this page to create a rollback across all pre-existing content. When you've completed the settings, click Save. This concludes our overview of the different elements of the distribution settings. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next module.